on the issue of Muslim and proficiency are professions such as law haram, in particular when practicing secular law. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala nabihi wa mustafahu wa ba'd. Uh, this question has been frequently asked, especially, and not only from Muslims who are living in non-Muslim societies, but also from Muslims who are living in Muslim societies. Since it is no secret that you can barely find a country which rules with the Sharia, so basically you would have to undergo the ruling and the verdict of the man-made law. So the question is, being a lawyer, studying law, to defend the victims and to defend those who have been indicted wrongfully, is it permissible or not? If that is the only way to defend the innocent, the weak, and the oppressed, it is definitely permissible. Your intention is to bring the right to those who deserve it. And if your intention is just to make money out of that, whereupon you may defend somebody whom you know already that he's a drug cartel. He's a drug dealer. And absolutely the earning is haram. is absolutely forbidden. In the hadith, when the Prophet ﷺ had a case before him, two brothers were arguing over a property. Each one of them says, it belongs to me, as a matter of inheritance. So the Prophet ﷺ, before dividing the inheritance and before judging between them, he said, I'm just a human being, and I judge according to the defense that is presented before me. So perhaps one of the opponents may be much more eloquent than his opponent. He may present evidences, even though they are not true. So I will judge accordingly. If I happen to give anyone anything which is not his right, then let him take it or leave it. If he takes it, he's only taking a piece of hellfire. Upon hearing that, both opponents, those who claim the same property, each one of whom say to the Messenger of Allah, O Prophet of Allah, I'm giving it up to my brother. And the other is the same. So the Prophet Sallallahu said, if this is the case, then divide it between you and fear Allah, both of you. I understand it is not an easy task for a lawyer. You know, there is a, a synonymous name for a lawyer. You know what? You know, what's the other name in the States? What do you call him? A liar. Well, not necessarily. Any Muslim, any person, Muslims or non-Muslims, in trouble, they need a lawyer, right? So if this is your intention, and if that's going to be your practice, that is absolutely permissible. Wallahu ta'ala a'la wa a'la. Shaykh Saeed Raghay.